Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Blair. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Colin, have you heard of the word 内卷内卷 No. What's that? 内卷这个词可能大多数听我们节目的同学不太陌生，对不对 Well, you can also use the word involution. It has become a shorthand used by Chinese. Urban nights to describe the ills of their more than lives. Oh yeah, involution. That's a word I've seen several times, but to be honest, I, I still don't quite get it. Well, nay, it means inside, 卷 rolling. It's something that spirals in on itself, a process that traps participants who know they won't benefit from it. Oh, okay, so it's like parents feel intense pressure to provide their children with the very best. Children must keep up in the educational rat race. Office workers have to clock in in a grinding number of hours, etc. Exactly. 内卷的表现形式有很多啊。那我们康林老师刚刚就提到了这个词，非常的好。Rat race. Yeah, rat race is a way of life of people living and work in a large city where people compete in an aggressive way with each other in order to be more successful. Earn more money, yeah, you know, etc. 对 rat race， 我们就可以翻译为激烈竞争或者比较没有意义的竞争，差不多就是内卷的那个意思啦。So,、um, are we going to talk about this today? No, quite the opposite. We're going to talk about new living philosophy. Lie down. Okay, there comes another unfamiliar word. You young people just won't give us a break. <laughs> Calm down. I'll explain it. Today, we won't talk about lying down. We'll talk about something with it exactly the opposite. So, what does this lie down mean? It's a new lifestyle buzzword. Rather than trying to keep up with society's expectations or fight them, many people are resolving to simply lie down. Oh, okay. So, it is an action rather than a feeling. Exactly. 躺平，我们英文直接翻译成 lie down， 是最近非常流行的一个词啊。那流行词我们就可以用这个 buzzword 来表示。Yeah, buzzword is a word or phrase, especially when connected with a particular subject, that has become fashionable and popular, and is used in a lot of、uh, newspapers and social media platforms, etc. 对，那躺平之所以得到大部分人，尤其是年轻人的认可和支持呢？是因为大家被内卷的很累了，不管是来自社会还是身边的压力啊，已经很多很多了。Yeah, well, I can get that. According to the mainstream standard, a decent lifestyle must include working hard, trying to get good results on work evaluations, and striving to buy a home and a car and making babies. Exactly. Well, so the young people who chose to tamping just refuse it all. No work. No house, no babies. 嗯，也不是完全不工作。Well, they loaf around on the job whenever they can, refusing to work overtime, not worrying about promotions, and not participating in corporate drama. 就用我们比较流行的说法，就是啊，很佛系。Okay, I kind of get that. And here we can learn a new phrase: loaf around. It means to waste time being idle, to spend time doing little or nothing. For example, my mother always says, "Quit loafing around and help me take out the trash." <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Loaf around, 我们就可以翻译为无所事事。那这个词跟躺平的这个人生哲学呢，还是比较契合的。Well, compared to involution, I prefer the lie down philosophy. Why? To lie down is a rational choice rather than a negative attitude. For some young people, it's a, a way to. Unburden themselves. 我们康林老师算是一个躺平党啊。他觉得躺平对有些人来说呢是比较理性的一个选择，而不是消极的态度。那理性的选择，我们就可以用 rational choice. Yes, when you can't catch up with society's development, say rocketing home prices, tamping is actually the most rational choice. The reason why I left Shenzhen is the skyrocketing home prices. See, that's what I mean. Sometimes it's not your fault. 确实啊，现在的这个房价问题啊，也是让很多年轻人不想再继续努力的原因了。因为不管你怎么努力，好像都还是达不到。比如过高的房价就让人望而却步。那飞涨的房价，我们就可以用 skyrocketing home prices 来表达。Yes, are you for or against this lie down philosophy? Well, I'm more like in the middle. I don't like meaningless competitions, but I still have dreams and goals for life. In order to achieve my goals, I have to work for it.、Mm, yeah, I agree with you. 
The best way is to find a balance between the two lifestyles. 大多数同学呢，可能也跟我是一样的，不会选择完全躺平，但也不太屑于内卷的无谓竞争啊。那找准平衡，让自己不留遗憾，是我们能够做到的。You know, actually, there are some words that can express the same meaning as lie down in English. Great. So the first one is skate by. Skate by means to get through something difficult with ease, or to accomplish or make progress through something with Very little effort or difficulty. Ah, skate by 这个表达就比较像我们中文当中说的“得过且过”，不用太费劲，哎，不用太较真。那这可不就是躺平哲学的含义了吗 ？Yes. So, for example, you can say, "Why try hard when you can just skate by?" <laughs> 得过且过就好啦，为什么要这么努力呢 ？Why try hard when you can just skate by? So, what's the second one? Well, you can also refer to someone who likes to lie down as a couch potato. <laughs> couch potato, I know this one. It means a person who watches a lot of television and does not have an active life. Yeah, a lazy person who does nothing but sit on the couch and watch TV. This expression, you should have heard before, right? Couch potato. Its literal meaning is couch potato. The one who lies on the couch and watches TV and just watches TV. We can also translate it as a lazy couch potato or a person who is lazy and does not have an active life. Yeah. For example, you can say, "Please don't lie around like a couch potato. Get up and do something productive." 别瘫在沙发上了，站起来干点有意义的事儿吧。Please don't lie around like a couch potato. Get up and do something productive. Well,、um, are you a couch potato, Colin?、Mm, no, I'm more of a bed potato. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, any other words that can be used for lie down? Well, why don't we save some for next time? Okay, 那我们今天呢，节目就先到这里了。关于今天我们聊到的躺平哲学，你赞同吗？你是怎么看待这种文化呢？欢迎大家在评论区跟我们一起聊一聊啊。Thank you very much for listening. This is Colin and this is Blair. See you next time. Bye. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。